Good morning, girls. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, girls. Waiting for you all to join. How are you all this morning? Okay, we have six attendees. Okay, ladies, welcome to the session. We have 10 attendees, so let's quickly start with our questioning for the time. Uh, today we'll be doing the topic teeth, which is chapter 7.3. So please open page number 80 and 81 from your textbook. All right, so let's get started. So let's start with the words from the Quran. Uh, we will start with Rabbi Zidni Ilma. Oh Allah, increase us in knowledge. So the objectives for the topic today would be to study about the structure of a tooth and yeah we are done with the alimentary canal digestion okay so we are done with these objectives uh, related to digestion we will do about absorption inshallah but today's objective would be to study about the structure of a tooth, about the types of teeth and uh, about the various diseases uh, which we come across in uh, the teeth like the uh, dental decay, the gum disease, inshallah. Okay, so under the KWL, uh, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard of uh, the gum disease? What actually happens in the gum disease? Or to DK. Have uh, any one of you had two DK or cavities or got your tooth removed due to a severe toothache? No one? Really? Nobody had such problems so far? I must say you all are healthy and mashallah, you don't eat junk, is it? Girls? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Nobody had any dental problems so far? No one? I must admit, I had many cavities when I was young. I used to have a lot of chocolates. I, I had those uh, two DK. I had painful nights. I had swollen jaws. I had to get them removed. And many dentist <laughs> visits. Even now, I have cavities. Uh, but I avoid going to a dentist. You know why? And so, nobody has cavities or anything? Very good, mashallah. All right then. Okay, so let's get uh, back to our topic. So we were discussing about the teeth and uh, 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 as we all know, the teeth, they help in ingestion, in the eating of the food and also in the mechanical digestion of the food. How ladies, how do the teeth help in mechanical digestion? Who's going to tell me? Uh, I think it helps soften the food. Mm -hmm. By how? Uh, chewing. Very good. So when we are chewing, what are we doing? We are chopping, crushing and grinding the food which we are eating into smaller pieces. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much, Sharon. So by doing this, we are not only allowing the food to pass through esophagus easily, but also we are increasing the surface area of the food so that the enzymes can act upon easily on the food. 
So this is how the structure of a tooth looks like, as you can see in this picture. <coughs> so sorry. So these are the various parts of the leaf. The outer crown, which you can see, uh, it, uh, it, it is made up of enamel on the outside. And inside the enamel, we have the dentine. Okay. And inside the dentine is the pulp cavity. Okay. So whenever you have a toothache, it is due to the inflammation of this pulp cavity. Okay, uh, if you have any, as you told me, nobody has any toothache, but I have experienced this uh, severe toothache where in this pulp, the pulp cavity over here, uh, this gets uh, inflamed, uh, you can say, or uh, this is very, very painful if it gets uh, infected, if there is an infection, then the pulp cavity is the one which gets infected, which like any other organ is connected uh, with the uh, nerves. Uh, so that is why this is the part which is painful. Though the outer enamel is not painful because it is the hardest part, but this when it gets inflamed, it is really, really painful. So this is the pulp cavity containing the nerves and the blood vessels so of course these are the gums the pink part when you open your mouth are the gums so inside the gums is the tooth which is rooted isn't it uh, so this is the cement this part with the help of which uh, the root part is inside the gum and you can see here the fibers attaching to to the jawbone this is our jawbone and here you can see the blood supply for the tooth Okay, through the pulp cavity, we have the nerves and the blood vessels which supply the blood to the tooth. All right, ladies, so this is how the structure of a tooth looks like. So the part of the tooth which is embedded in the gum, it is known as the root. And the part which you can see out when you, when you laugh, when the white part which shows out, it is the crown. Okay, so the crown is covered by the outer enamel, which is the hardest substance. It is very, very difficult to, uh, to break the enamel, of course, when you are uh, 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 punching someone or when you are uh, uh, getting uh, into a fight, then uh, uh, maybe you might get hurt. Otherwise, uh, the normal decent people, uh, we cannot break our teeth like that. Or maybe if we are falling, uh, God forbid, if there is an accident. However, it can be dissolved by the acids. As we were discussing yesterday, uh, the bacteria, they feed on the sweet foods left on the teeth. So whenever you're having something sweet, you always need to either gargle or brush your teeth. Because if there is any sweet uh, uh, food particles which are leftovers, which are between the teeth, then the bacteria, they start acting upon those sweet foods which are stuck in your teeth. This makes the production of the acids which dissolve the enamel and decay sets in. Okay, so slowly these uh, the bacteria they start feeding on the sweets and the acids are produced which help in uh, in uh, dissolving the enamel of your teeth, making the teeth very very weak. Okay, so this is how the tooth decay it starts. So that is why it has always been stressed upon brushing your teeth twice a day since you are in your kg. So you need to always brush your teeth before you go to bed so that if there, is, there are any food particles left in your teeth, they can all be uh, uh, brushed away before you go to bed. Otherwise, the entire night, those bacteria would be acting upon those food particles, uh, 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 producing acids which can destroy the enamel of your teeth. Okay. Uh, under the enamel is a layer of dentine, which is rather like bone. This is the part we are talking about, dentine, which is present right under the enamel. Dentine is quite hard, but not as hard as enamel. Okay, so it has channels in it which contain the living cytoplasm. So this dentine and the pulp are almost like any other tissue in the body. Though this dentine is hard, quite hard like a bone, though not as hard as the enamel. But these are the living tissues of the tooth which uh, with, with the help of which the, the blood is supplied to the tooth. Again, you can see the various parts of the tooth over here clearly, ladies. The, this is the, what is the upper part of the tooth known as? The part which you can see when you laugh. Hello. The crown. The crown. And which is the part which is rooted into your uh, jaw or the gums? Mm -hmm. Quickly. The root. Isn't it? So this part, the outer hard part is the enamel. Beneath it is the dentin. 
and inside the dentin is the pulp through which the nerve blood vessels and the nerves pass and this is the gum into which your tooth is rooted and this is the jaw bone which is present under the gum okay and this is the root canal you must have always heard about uh, any members of your family going to a doctor for a root canal that means this particular part has been inflated uh, inflamed and they uh, cure by uh, uh, doing some treatment to your root canal which is very painful and these are the nerves and the blood vessels okay so this is the tooth anatomy so in the middle of the tooth is the pulp pulp cavity it contains nerves and the blood vessels this one and these supply the cytoplasm in the de in the uh, dentine with food and oxygen so the root of the tooth is covered with the cement okay so this root it is covered with a uh, cement as it, as i showed you in the first picture all right so this is the cement layer which is present on uh, top of the root which is embedded into your gums okay and uh, the it uh, this has fibers growing out of it and these attach the tooth to the jaw bone but allow it to move slightly when biting or chewing let me show you in this picture so this is the cement which has the fibers like this can you see these are the fibers coming out of the cement layer which allow the tooth to be grounded into your jaw bone okay so you you can of course you move your teeth when you're chewing and uh, when you are biting onto something but they will not move and come out they can slightly move but they are firmly attached to your jaw bone with the help of these fibers okay ladies uh clear about the structure of a tooth any questions before we move on to the types of teeth hello any doubts or questions so far no most of it is clear thank you so how many teeth do we adults have adults meaning uh i'm not sure if you got your wisdom tooth so far So, how many tooths you have all together, including your wisdom tooth? Mm hmm. How many teeth do adults have, ladies? Thirty-two. No. Thirty-two. Perfect. So, after you get your four other uh, four wisdom tooth or teeth. uh the, uh the count of your teeth is 32 okay so an adult person after you get your wisdom teeth are 32 before that you have 28 so most of you must have ha uh, must be having 28 teeth now okay give me a moment okay ladies so these teeth are again uh, divided into uh, types depending upon their function so these are the front teeth are the incisors with the help of which we bite in onto something be it an apple or a or a chocolate so these are the teeth which we use as scissors these front teeth that is why these teeth are known as incisors okay and these are the canines canines are the sharp teeth which are present at angles of your mouth which help in uh, in uh, pulling on to the uh, for example if you are eating any meat or chicken they help in pulling out the meat or any kind of food okay so these are known as canines uh, in animals these are present these are more sharper than humans depending upon their function okay and which which are the other two uh, types of teeth apart from incisors and canines ladies we have the molars and the premolars okay so these are the four kinds of teeth which you have in your mouth the incisors are the sharp at chisel shaped teeth at the front of your mouth these ones uh, they are used for biting off pieces of food okay and canines these ones the canines are more pointed teeth on either side of the incisors okay so these not only are they have a function but they are also very beautiful when we laugh uh, it is the incisors and canines which are visible when we are laughing 
After that, the other two teeth we have are the uh, premolars and the molars. Okay, so here you can see right after the incisor uh, uh, canines, these two teeth are known as the premolars. Okay, and then these big teeth which you have at the back of your jaw are the molars. Okay, so these uh, two are the first and the second molars, whereas this last tooth which you have, as I was mentioning about, is the wisdom tooth. So you have uh, one wisdom tooth each on each uh, side of your jaw, two on the top and two at the bottom, making it four altogether. So how many of you have got wisdom tooth already, ladies? Count and tell me quickly. Did you all get your wisdom teeth? Count. If you got, it should be 32. And if you didn't, then you should have a total of 28 teeth. Quickly count and tell me within a minute. Are you all counting? Jenna Jamil, how many teeth do you have? Jenna? Leila, have you counted? Leila? Yes, yeah, how many do you have, Leila? 28 or 32? Leila is still counting. Lujan, have you counted? Maria Maladin, Lana Khalil, Ravan, how many do you have, sweetie? I think they're 28, miss. 28, great. So you didn't get your wisdom so far. Okay, the wisdom tooth again depends uh, for some uh, uh, girls or boys, the teenagers. Uh, you might get it as early as 16 to 18 years or for some people it might be as late as 20. Okay, so it, it's not a problem at all. So once you get your wisdom tooth, it would be 32 altogether. Okay, ladies, so you know now which are the premolars and the molars. So the teeth which are present after the canines, these two are the premolars. And the, the teeth which are present after the premolars are the molars, the first and the second molar. And this last tooth which is present is the wisdom tooth. So premolars and molars are the large teeth towards the back of the mouth. They are used for chewing the food. Okay, so incisors are for biting, canines are more pointed on either side, they are also for plucking or anything, whereas premolars and molars are for grinding the food or chewing the food. In humans, the ones right at the back are sometimes called the wisdom teeth. They do not grow until much later in the person's development than the others. So you might get uh, between the ages of 18 to 25, you get your wisdom tooth. Okay, again, you can see here of uh, the entire jaw. Uh, you can see these are the incisors at the front, followed by the canines at your angles of your mouth, followed by the premolars and the molars. Clear, ladies, about the four types of teeth. Any questions? All clear? Ladies, you at least have to tell me if it is clear or if you have any doubts or questions so that I can move on. No, my it's clear. Thank you so much. Okay. So mammals also differ from other animals in having two sets of teeth. Okay. Not all the kinds of uh, organisms have two sets of teeth. Only mammals have. The first set is called the milk teeth or the deciduous teeth. We all know that the milk teeth are the teeth which fall off and then we get our permanent teeth. So maybe uh, from the age of eight or uh, seven to eight, the falling of the teeth, it starts maybe as early as six or so. And you start getting your second set of teeth, which are your permanent teeth. So in humans, these start to grow through the gum one or two at a time when a child is about five months old. So when the child is five months old, this, the milk teeth, they start growing. By the age of 24 to 30 months, most children have a set of 20 teeth. Okay, the first set of teeth begin to fall off when the child is about seven years old and 20 teeth to, uh, teeth to replace the ones which fall out plus 12 new teeth make up the complete set of permanent teeth. So when you are about seven to eight years old, you only have 20 teeth. 
uh, the milk teeth would slowly fall off and you start getting your permanent teeth. You get 28 permanent teeth by the age of 12 or 13. And as you grow older, you will get your four wisdom tooth as well. So there are 32 altogether. Most people have all their permanent teeth at about 17 years of age. Okay, again, we have the four types of teeth over here. We have the incisors and the position in the mouth are front description. They are, I want you to read one by one really quick. Rawan, could you please read out the position of the tooth in the mouth, the description and the function? Okay, um, the incisor position in the mouth front. Uh, description, chisel shaped, sharp edge, function, biting off pieces of food. Mm -hmm. uh, canine, position in mouth, either side of incisors, description, slightly more pointed than incisors, function, similar function to incisors. Premolar, behind, uh, position in mouth, behind canines, uh, description, have two points, um, cusps, have one or two roots, and the function is staring and grinding food. The molar, position in mouth, back. Uh, description, have four or five cusps, have two or three roots. And the function is for chewing and grinding and grinding food. Okay, thank you so much, Ruan. So, uh, you can see the cusps also. The molar, the bigger teeth, they have two cusps with the help of which, uh, meaning the roots with the help of which they are rooted into your jaw. Clearly, it is about the four types of teeth. Again, you can see in this picture here. This is the front view and this is a side view of the incisors. These are the canines, the premolars and the molar. So you have the front as well as the side view over here. Okay, let's talk about now the diseases which might uh, might, uh, call, might be caused if you're not taking very good care of your teeth, starting with dental decay. As you can see, the decay of the teeth over here, which is disgusting. Uh, tooth decay and gum diseases are the common problems you get in the teeth, isn't it? So either it is the gum disease, wherein your gums, they start bleeding, or anything related to your tooth. The decay, the cavities, everything related to your teeth. Both are caused by bacteria. You have large numbers of bacteria living in your mouth, most of which are harmless. Okay, of course, there are bacteria in each and every organ of your body, but in the mouth, because you're eating and there is a lot of food in your mouth. So, of course, there are bacteria and that is why the bad smell and the bad odor, uh, odor comes off your mouth as soon as you wake up in the morning. You need to brush your teeth immediately, isn't it? That is because of the action of the bacteria. However, some of these bacteria together with substances from your saliva form a sticky film over your teeth especially next to the gums and in between the teeth. This is known as plaque. Okay, now plaque is soft and easy to remove at first, but if it is left, it hardens to form tartar, which cannot be removed by brushing. Okay, so uh, in the mouth, there are beneficial bacteria which help in forming of this plaque. So plaque is good because it, cuts, it, it covers your teeth, forming a protective covering in order to protect it from any kinds of acids which are produced by the other harmful bacteria. But it needs to be cleaned from time to time. Okay, so this sticky film over your mouth, it has to be removed from time to time, as I told you, especially when you're eating anything sweet, you need to gargle or brush your teeth immediately. But if this plaque, it gets deposited in between your teeth, as you can see in this picture, it hardens and forms the substance known as tartar, uh, which cannot be removed by brushing. If this keeps on depositing in your teeth, it leads to tooth decay. Okay, so if plaque is not removed, the bacteria and it may infect the gums as well. Okay, the gums swell, they become inflamed and may bleed when you brush your teeth. This is the gum disease. So we're not only talking about the decay of the tooth, this infection might also pass on to your gums. Okay, and your gums may start swelling, getting infected, or they might also be the formation of uh, pus sometimes, which is very painful and your gums might also bleed when you're brushing. Okay, this is usually painless, but if the bacteria are allowed to spread, they may work down around the root of the tooth. Okay, then the tooth becomes loose and needs removing. 
So if this happens during the milk tooth stage, it's okay. You may go to a dentist if you have a tooth. The dentist will remove your tooth, and the tooth teeth is again replaced. But if it is in your adult stage, then it might lead to cavities and filling and root canal. And if you're losing a teeth, that is a permanent loss of your tooth, and you cannot replace it back. It will not grow back. You might have to get a artificial tooth installed. All right. So this is how you can see in this picture. Number one, the plague builds up around the edges of the teeth and the gums. Can you see here? Okay. So this is the formation of the plague. It is getting deposited over here, building around the edges of the tooth. So what does it do? If the plague is not removed, the bacteria may work down around the roots of the tooth. Do you see? how it's working near the jaws around the roots of the tooth. So ultimately, if uh, this condition is also uh, persists, then the tooth is loosened and may fall out or have to be removed. So this is how the infection might pass on maybe to your teeth, also to your gums. Okay, ladies. So this is to decay. So that is why it is very, very important to take very good care of your teeth. Uh, include lots and lots of calcium rich foods in your diet. Uh, Never have a calcium deficiency because that also might lead to loosening of your teeth. Okay, so DK begins when small holes or cavities appear in the enamel. As I told you, there is a little hole which starts forming in your uh, teeth. It gets bigger and bigger, which forms a cavity. Okay, so cavities are also dangerous because they eat upon uh, the teeth. And uh, either it needs to be filled immediately, and if you are ignoring it, then the entire tooth will be lost. The cavities are again caused by bacteria on the tooth surface. The bacteria feed on the sugars deposited on the teeth, uh, uh, respiring them and producing acid, which dissolves the calcium salts in the tooth enamel. Okay. As we discussed earlier, this tooth enamel, it might get dissolved due to the acids which are produced by the bacteria which are acting upon your teeth. Then the enamel is dissolved away in patches, exposing the dentine to the acids. So what happens if this enamel is uh, uh, destroyed or removed? Then the next layer which is present beneath the enamel, which is the dentine, it gets exposed to the uh, uh, to the bacteria because whenever you're eating uh, uh, the protective coating or the enamel on top of the dentine is lost so now the dentine is also getting affected so dentine is softer than enamel and dissolves more quickly so this is how the cavities are formed okay first the outer enamel is dissolved because of the acid then later, even the dentine, which is present beneath the enamel, also gets affected, and this is how cavities or holes are formed in your teeth. The cavities, they reduce the distance between the outside of the tooth and the nerve endings. So beneath the dentine, which is the layer which is present, ladies, it is the, uh, mm -hmm, the pulp, isn't it? The pulp cavity, if that is affected, then that is when you get pain in your tooth or in your uh, gums. So the acids produced by the bacteria irritate the nerve endings and they cause toothache. So if the cavity is not cleaned and filled by a dentist, the bacteria will get into the pulp cavity and cause a painful abscess at the root. So if there are any holes or cavities in your tooth, they need to be treated immediately. They need to be filled. If not, then the bacterial acid, it reaches from then time, even inside the pulp cavity. And this is when your tooth starts aching, when the bacteria, they are irritating the nerve endings and they cause a toothache. Okay, so often the only way to treat this is to have the teeth pulled out. So if the pain is very severe, the only way to treat it now is to pull out the teeth altogether and it can be replaced with an artificial teeth. All right, ladies. So this is the cavities I'm talking about. It starts with a little hole like this and the hole gets bigger and bigger if you're not filling it. And when the, through the cavity, the bacteria, they start uh, first destroying the enamel and then they start dissolving the dentine. And after the dentine, the bacteria, they start affecting your pulp cavity. And if the entire pulp is inflamed and you start getting a toothache and ultimately you have to get it removed. 
okay so here again you can see in this picture how the cavity is formed and how it gets how the pulp cavity is affected the particles of sugary foods get trapped and cracks in the teeth like this and the bacteria feeding on the sugar form acids which dissolve and a hole in the enamel and dentine is created like this then there are nerves in the pulp cavity so the tooth become very very painful if the infection gets this far then the next stage is the infection can spread rapidly through the pulp cavity and may form an abscess at the root of the tooth do you see like this so this if this abscess is formed there will be a lot of pus and swelling of your jaw and it is very very painful so how do you avoid the tooth decay of course by avoiding the foods which vary with very high sugar content but we all are human we, we do crave sugars so if you may have sugars but whenever you have you need to immediately gargle or brush your teeth and you need to have regular effective brushing to prevent the build up of the plaque clear ladies about teeth any questions So we are done with the topic 7.3 from your textbook, uh, page number 80 and 81. You have the same picture pictures also in your textbook. Any questions or doubts so far about the teeth, ladies? Any doubts or questions? Okay, let me quickly summarize what all we studied under this topic. <coughs> Function of the teeth is ingestion and what is it, ladies? Mechanical digestion, right? So, what are the uh, the various parts of the tooth? Can someone tell me quickly? Shahid. The enamel, the dentine, uh, and the gum and the cement, and then the blood supply to the to uh, for the tooth. So it can so so it doesn't die. Where is the pulp cavity? Sorry, ma'am. Shahid, where is the pulp cavity present? Uh, below the dentine. Mhm. Mm Very good. Okay, so which is the hardest material in your body, ladies? The tooth. Uh... Mm -hmm. It is the enamel, isn't it? So this top part of the crown, it is the hardest material. It is followed by the dentine. Okay, so here you have the various layers: dentine, the pulp cavity. So the pulp contains the nerves and blood vessels through which the blood is uh, transferred to your tooth. Okay. <clears throat> What are the four kinds of teeth, ladies? Rowan. The incisors, the canines, the uh, molars, and the premolars. Very good. Well, Lujain, can you please tell me the function of the incisors in your mouth? Lujain. Uh, uh, and it says they are used for locating pieces of fruit in the mouth. Mm -hmm. And what is the function of the canines? <coughs> uh, for chewing food. For chewing food. Okay. Laila, what is the function of the molars and the premolars? Laila? Uh, they are used for chewing food. They help in what? Chewing food. Chewing the food. Perfect. So, how many teeth do uh, does an adult have? How many teeth? I'm not sure, but I think it's um like thirty-two. Yes. So before you get the yes. teeth, you have twenty-eight in the complete set of permanent teeth are 32 so we mammals they have two sets of teeth the milk teeth and the deciduous teeth which are our permanent teeth here you can see the four types of teeth again the uh, picture here so what are the uh, two uh, tooth diseases which may have which we might get 
Shahjan, could you please tell me? Shahjan? Yes, miss. Yeah, what are the two types of dental diseases? Diseases? The, what are the types of tooth decay or diseases which we may get? Cavity doesn't count as a disease, right? Yes, it is a kind of a tooth decay. Oh, okay. It comes under the tooth decay. So cavity. Mm -hmm. uh, gum diseases. Yes, gum disease and tooth decay under which we discussed about the cavities which are the small holes are formed. So this is how it happens. Uh, your enamel is dissolved and then your dentine and then this bacteria they start affecting your pulp cavity and ultimately your teeth has to be removed. Any doubts or questions ladies all clear? Yes or no? So the homework for this topic which we covered just now, let me write it down here. I want you to complete the questions for chapter 7.3. Okay, so you will do textbook page number. Eighty two. Okay, question seven point one one. Till 7.14 would be your homework. Okay, ladies? Uh, next. Yeah. Will you be uploading notes? Yes, I will be uploading notes as well, inshallah. Please yes. to remind me. Okay. Yes. 9B. I'm sending this picture. This is your homework. All right. So now let's move on to the next topic. We don't have any questions. We have only two minutes left. The next is 7.4 elementary canal. Most of the elementary canal we covered already. We covered about what happens in the various stages of the elementary canal from the mouth, the esophagus, the stomach, the small intestine, ex uh, everything. So we still we are yet to do the absorption in the large intestine. Okay, so we are yet to do the absorption and assimilation and then we'll be done with this topic inshallah. All right, so uh, Till here, we did already about the liver and the gallbladder, isn't it? In the next class, inshallah, we'll start with absorption and we'll continue with absorption and assimilation. Okay, ladies?